Hello everyone and welcome to our first lab on Code Pipeline. In this lab, we will be creating a pipeline to build and deploy our Java web application that we have created and configured as part of the previous labs. So for this lab, we have some prerequisites. You should have the previous labs created in your account. If you don't, you will have to go back to these labs and make sure that you finish them. First prerequisite is having the Java web repository in your code commit. You should have the Java web project in your code build. This also has been created in lab number five. You should have the Java web application that was created in code deploy. This was in lab number nine. And I would strongly encourage you to go back to lab number nine and review it because what we will be doing in this lab is just automating all what we have done in lab number nine through code pipeline. The last prerequisite is that we need to update our build specs.yaml file to spit out all of the files needed for code deploy to work properly. So in lab number nine, we depended on uploading our own archive to S3 through S3 commands within our build specs. However, the way code pipeline works is that it generates its own outputs based on the files section in your build specs. So let's get into the console and verify these prerequisites. First, I will go to code commit to verify the repository. Here is the repository we need. We have all the files that we have created previously. And the only change we need to make is to change build spec file and add these files to the files section. So make sure you have target javaweb.war, you have appspec.yaml, you have restart.shell under the files section. Next, let's go to code build and verify the project. Under code build, this is our Java web build project that we have created in lab number five. It refers to the Java web repository, which is correct. It uses my bucket for outputs. However, when we are using code by blind, it creates its own bucket. Let's go to the code deploy section. This is the project we created in lab number nine. And before we have the deployment group that we have created before for this exercise, we'll be using the Java web Tomcat deployment group. However, you can also try the blue green deployment if you would like to. Let's go to code by blind and start creating one. I don't have any pipelines yet, so I will get started. I will name my pipeline Java Web Continuous Delivery. Source provider is code commit. Repository name is Java Web Repo. Branch name is master. Build provider is code build and as we go you see what are the options available to you selecting an existing build project this is my build project next selecting a deployment provider we will use AWS code deploy we have an existing application selecting the Java web Tomcat the Emblaze deployment group for the rule name, I can select one that I already have or I can create rules. So let's create rule just to make sure that you can follow the same steps on your account. You don't need to change anything here. It, it is already pre-populated with whatever policy you need for code by blind to work properly. So just click allow and this will create a rule for you. Next. So this is just a review of the choices we have made and we are ready to create a pipeline. Once it is created, just leave it for a minute and it will start picking up the source code from your repository and building it and deploying it through the other services. So let's just watch and see this in action. As you see here, it started pulling the code from code commit and building it. So we have now the source phase in progress so now the source stage is successful. So now it's on the code build and it's building my project according to the build specs that I have added to my project. So now the build phase is completed and by the end of this phase, we should have the output artifacts uploaded to a bucket created by code by blind. So let's just head quickly to S3 and see what has been created in there. If you go to S3, you will see that there is a bucket created with code by blind and the region and the account number. 
and if you go in it you will see that you have the project name which is java web continuous delivery that we have created for this pipeline if you go under it you will see that we have the application build name this is the name that we have configured in our build phase in the code pipeline if you go in it you will see all the output artifacts that have been generated so far if we refresh you see that this is the one that was just created this is a zip archive of whatever files we have indicated in our files section of the build specs if we head back to code by blind you see that the deployment process is still in progress so now the deployment phase is also done and all are successful so we expect that our application has been already deployed if we hit the URL of our application we should see the application deployed and running so let's just open this URL once again to make sure that the application is running and we have our application deployed here. So let's make a change to our JSP file, change this color to blue and see the process in action once again. From my terminal, I'll just open the file index.jsp. And I will change the color of my hello world to blue. Save this file, commit the changes, I'm adding a command. And pushing the changes to remote repository. Now, without any action, you will see that code by blind will pick up the change in a minute and start deploying it once again. So let's just watch this for a minute. Now you see that it's in progress again, picking up the change from code commit. Now my changes have been picked up, and this is the comment I have added while I was committing the change, change hello world to blue. And now we have the build in progress and the build is just packaging our applications through the code build project and generating the outputs. So now the build phase is successful and we expect that outputs have been generated and uploaded to S3 and the code deploy project is backing up and started in the next phase. So now the deployment process is also successful. Uh, if we go and refresh our application, we should see the change we have just made. So you see that the color has been changed to blue. This means our deployment has been updated successfully. So that's it for our first lab. We have created a very basic pipeline project for our Java web application that builds upon what we have created in previous labs in code commit, code build, and code deploy. Thank you.